And cops are still trying to track down the suspects behind the shootings of three homeless men and the stabbing of two workers at the Museum of Modern Art. Yeah, 24 hour crime spree just as the NYPD's new neighborhood safety teams hit the streets. So, Manhattan Borough President Mark Levine joining us this morning to share his thoughts. So, let's begin. Good, by the way, good morning to see you, uh, Borough President. Thanks for being here. Good morning to both of you. So, let's begin with this unbelievable story these attacks on the homeless, right? It's been an escalating problem that we've been talking about in recent years, especially in Manhattan. But I want to talk about specifically what we saw play out this weekend and also in Washington, D.C. What is the update this morning? What are you hearing? What do you know? This is just a horrifying series of incidents. The most vulnerable people in New York City, those who are living unhoused, have been victim victimized here by someone who police now suspect might be a serial killer. They have connected these three shootings in Manhattan to two earlier in March in Washington, D.C., the, the modus operandi and even some evidence collected from the scenes seem to connect them. Uh, this is really scary, and we need to make sure that we do everything we can to get folks in off the street right now. And I'm really encouraging people, if you see someone vulnerable on the street, call 311. But the police are also asking for help in identifying the suspect. They have posted pictures, and uh, people who have any information at all please uh, let the authorities know we need to catch this guy before we lose any more precious lives. Yeah, thank you for that update. But I think this whole situation over the weekend, it begs the question about the city's outreach programs. I mean, it doesn't seem to be working if you're a New Yorker living here. You're like, what's going on? So is there something missing? Is there something the city isn't doing? Yes, the biggest problem is we don't have enough of the right kinds of beds to bring people in off the street. There are many people on the street who have made a choice not to go to shelter because they've been to shelter and they have felt unsafe and they actually feel less unsafe on the street. So we need to improve our shelters and in particular we have to offer more of the uh, model known as safe haven yeah. where they have smaller rooms where it's easier to come in with far too few of these beds. Those are the most effective at getting people in off the street and we just don't have enough. Of yeah, so this is a talking point that we've heard over and over again and no disrespect to you because affordable housing, homelessness, those were key issues. You've been, you've been calling for them, right? But where and when can we expect for all of that to happen? Because it feels like we're in this hamster wheel of always yeah. hearing about we need more beds but it not actually happening. Well, you're right. We have to do much more, much faster. Some of these projects takes, take years to complete. Uh, safe haven shelters can be established much, much more quickly. And I'm working to get one open uh, in uptown Manhattan yeah. on 125th Street. Um, but th there's just no shortcut here. We mm -hmm. need the kinds of beds that will draw people in off the street. Partly that just running the shelters we have better, that can be done more quickly with more accountability and, for, and more resources, right. better staffing. Um, but you know, a plan like the subway safety plan, which will push homeless people out of the transit system, if they don't offer the right kinds of beds, means they'll just land on the street. Mm. And we saw this weekend the tragic consequences of that. Right. What about the voucher program? Where does that stand right now? Expanding it? Yeah, it, we, it has been expanded, but both the the number of, of vouchers and the amount per voucher. There is continued problems with landlords who refuse to accept them. That's illegal. Okay. And there's just a shortage of housing. Rents are going up. Market rate rents are rising rapidly, especially in Manhattan. So we have a parallel challenge of creating more housing to and more affordable housing to bring rents down. Um, but the voucher program alone has continued to struggle. It's not a solution for every individual, and it's why there's no substitute for having a better shelter system. Also in your borough, it was big news over the weekend, what actually happened at the Museum of Modern Art, right, which is going to reopen today. Will there be increased security uh, tomorrow, excuse me, opening, reopening tomorrow? Is it going to be increased with security there? What do you know about that situation? Yes, my understanding is they are increasing security. The museum community and the staff has just been absolutely shaken by this horrific incident. I think that, well, we're still learning the details of this case. It does appear that the suspect um, was in the midst of something of a mental health crisis. Uh, there were social media posts over the past two years and reports from friends that made it appear he was having something of a breakdown yeah. during the pandemic. Uh, this is a reminder of a parallel challenge to homelessness, which is better interventions for people with severe psychiatric conditions. Uh, were there warning signs missed in this case? We need to find out. The social media posts alone are pretty alarming. We don't have the right resources for this population either. Right now, the only option for someone in crisis can often be going to an emergency room. Yeah. And that really is not the best solution. 
We need facilities that are tailor-made to stabilize people in mental health crisis. There are a very small number of them in Manhattan and New York City, not near enough. Yeah. And that's another area where we have to surge resources so the people who are in mental health crisis get interventions before they commit a horrific act like what we saw at the museum. All right, Borough President, we've simply run out of time. Uh, just quickly, though, with the easing of the COVID restrictions, uh, despite the fact that New Yorkers are lagging behind on booster shots, uh, the Department of Health says only 30, 36% of New Yorkers have gotten boosters. Do you think the city is moving too fast then? Well, we are making big progress against COVID and cases are way down, but we're seeing another surge in Europe. Right. We're typically a few weeks behind, so we cannot take our eye off this. And we are behind Europe on boosters. As you said, New York City, 36% of us have been boosted. The UK, 67%. Mm -hmm. So we've got to push on this. This is our number one priority. In the days and weeks ahead, got it. we have to get that number moving in the right direction. Borough right. President Mark Levine, always good to see you. If anybody needs to see the latest COVID numbers, by the way, just check out his Twitter. He's all over it always on Twitter. <laughs> good to see you. Thank Thanks. you, Dan and Hazel. Right. Be well.